everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be sewing a baby suspenders skirt. So let's get started. I start by cutting my fabric at 14 inches. And I cut my straps 30 inches by 3 inches. And my next step is I use my serger to prepare my waist and hemline. And the next step is to iron down the waistband and the hemline. Two inches for the waistband and one inch for the hemline. And now it's time to sew the back seam together. First I serge, and then I use my regular sewing machine for a secured stitch. Then it's time to iron down the waistband and the hemline, making sure that the center seam stays in the same direction. To sew the elastic casing, I first sew on my serged edge, and then I measure my elastic, and then make a waistband. I do close that one all the way up, however the very first stitch leave open about one inch for your elastic. And now it's time to sew the hemline. I sew all the way around, connecting the threads. Then once that is sewn, I flip it and I make a dual hemline by keeping my presser foot on the seam. And now it's time to cut our fabric for the back straps. You cut two pieces, two and a half inches by six inches.
And now sew your straps. Fold your fabric in half and make sure that if it's directional fabric to sew closed the top. And now turn your straps inside out. There's a lot of tools out there on the market to turn fabric, but for years and years I've always used a pencil and a dowel rod. It makes it really easy. And now I search closed the ends of my loops and the straps. If you don't have a serger, that's okay. Just use a zigzag stitch. And now I prepare my fabric. From the center, I measure four and a half inches. That's for the back loops and the front straps. And then I pin the back loops on the very top stitching and then the straps and then sew. And now it's time to attach your buttons. Either use your machine or hand sew. I do attach the buttons prior to adding the elastic.
and now sew your elastic casing closed. And now evenly distribute the elastic, add your ties through your loops, and you're done. Thanks for watching everybody.